Hello everyone and welcome to September where we have the Speed Crate. Um, this arrived tremendously fast. I got an email like two days ago saying it had been shipped. So fucking Loot Crate been on their game recently. Let's crack on. T-shirt was on top. Stark Industries, Stark Motoring. It's from uh, Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 T-shirt. Where he decides, spoiler alert, because he's dying. You know what? I own an F1 car. I'm going to drive my F1 car. T-shirt, I like it. Comfy again. Slightly smaller than the other ones though. It's a Battlestar Galactica Cylon Raider. Uh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive. Exclusive Cylon Raider 4.5 inch Scar type. Oh, it's the Scar one. If you haven't seen Battlestar Galactica, Scar, if I remember correctly, is a particular Cylon ship that uh, whilst they're trying to gather resources and refuel, keeps attacking them, keeps coming back. And there we go. That will sit pretty next to my Planet Express ship, or opposite my Planet Express ship, I guess. Not quite the same detail as the Planet Express ship. It does look cool, but it looks clearly plasticky. Once the Planet Express ship looks a lot nicer and it's magnetised rather than got a piece of plastic up its bum. Cool though. Batman Metal Batwing Keychain, Stealth Edition. Another Loot Crate exclusive. We've been on top of that recently as well, everything being exclusive. Quite a nice looking keychain actually. Bit oh good it is metal. I was worried about that. That wing. It's nice. Sharp. Not the actual like wings, but like the points on the top and bottom. Quite sharp. Um Oh dear. I don't know what this is, other than it's a car called Eleanor, 67 custom movie star Mustang. So similar to the Impala from Supernatural. Um, oh, it says on the front, of course it does, because it's gone in 60 seconds, film I haven't seen. Obviously the clear car from it. Looks like it's uh, made by the exact same people, which I like, because I like my the die cast Impala, but I'm a, I'm a fan of Supernatural, so that made sense to me. This doesn't make sense to me. Other than it's car. They should have had the bus from speed. Right. Another Loot Crate exclusive. This is either going to be really cool or really shit. It's called Hoodies. It's called that because it's a hood ornament. Made in China. Not a good start. Yeah, not good. Oh, very plasticky. It's an arrow hood ornament for whatever. Super plasticky. With its chrome fucking paint job, what is it? It's not for actually going on your car, is it? Collectible auto ornaments. Place your, yeah, it goes on your car. Please note the ho hoodie's magnetized base will not function on non ferrous surfaces, including fiberglass, aluminium, carbon fiber, and stainless steel. Items should not be used on moving vehicles with sustained speeds of 75 miles per hour or greater. So put it on your car if you're going to go slow, or for like a fucking car show or something. If you're going to go on for a car show, get a metal one. This is horrifically plastic. I mean, it kind of serves as a nice ornament. It's... Two things, right. Um, I'm guessing when I read the magazine I find out there was an alternative, because there's also a flash one. Flash one makes more sense, I dropped the box. 
flash one makes more sense. At least he goes fast. Arrow doesn't go fast. Arrow might shoot fast. But then give me a bow. <laughs> Quite frankly, this is dumb and cheap. Not impressed. Loot pin. Just a tire. Smoke coming out of it. It says loot year. I don't know what's this loot year. Oh, that's for in a minute. Alright. Catalog. Exclusive. The Flash Hood Ornament style figure. We couldn't make a crate about speed and leave out the fastest man alive. The Hood Ornament style figure has a metal look but is made of high quality hard plastic. We recommend you display it proudly. Maybe on this very crate that transforms into a car. Fuck, spoilers. In your home or office as the magnet does not adhere to all car hoods. So it was supposed to be Flash. Did I get the wrong one? Oh no, turn the page. Or, Arrowhood ornament style figure. Barry Allen was first introduced on Arrow, the show that made the rapidly expanding Berlantiverse, no, Berlantiverse possible. I don't know what that means. Oliver Queen's got quite the nice assortment of motorcycles and trick arrows in his arsenal. He's bested Barry in combat more than once and he'll be celebrating his 75th anniversary in November. So it made sense to include him in giving you a looters a 50-50 chance of getting either beautiful figure. First of all, beautiful, not really. Second of all, fucking piss poor excuse to have Arrow in here. I kind of like Arrow. He's cool. Um, fair Hawkeye, more of a Marvel fan. But just give everyone the Flash. If you're gonna give away this crap. Fucking hell, exclusive Battlestar Galactica Scar vinyl replica. Scar is the fastest of the Raiders, the silence primary attack fleet in the reboot of the classic series. Lucky this figure is powered down and perfect for display. I do recommend that series, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Uh, remake of Battlestar Galactica. Fantastic. Edward James Olmos. Fucking mint. Uh, Stark Industries Racing Tee. Be part of Stark Industries Pit Crew with this official shirt inspired by Tony's Need for Speed and other things in Iron Man 2. A little woman wearing it, which makes me think that was more dirty than it should have been. This month's tee was designed specifically for Loot Crate by Marvel, so you won't find it anywhere else. Oh, Marvel actually officially designed it, so I like that. Batwing keychain. Pretty much read everything I can about that. Gone in 60 seconds, Eleanor Diecast car. Part of the Hollywood Series 7 line, the 1967 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 featured in the Nicolas Cage classic, because all Nick Cage movies are classics, apparently, is beautifully recreated in this 164 scale diecast vehicle with metal chassis, rubber wheels, and articulated doors and hood. Oh, really? That's cool, I didn't know that. What if the supernatural one is articulated? Yes, they open. Display of pride. Hmm. Oh, the loop pin is modelled after Velocity. It's from a comic. I think I can redeem the first issue uh, with the loop pin. Excuse me, which is cool. I might read that. Where's the Mega Crate? Mega Crate. Curved Ultra HD TV. 4K 55 inch LED. So never mind one of them. The PlayStation 4 500 gigabyte Batman Arkham Knight Bundle Limited Edition console. Want medium replicas, Iron Man 2, LED, arc reactor, prop replica. Again, want that would have looked super sexy with this. The Battlestar Galactica, the complete series, Blu-ray flash set, the remake uh, series, awesome series. We could have done with that as well. Icon Heroes, the Arrow and the Flash TV series, HQ resin paperweight statues. They look alright. They look great. I mean, because it's got actual decent figures. And then there was the Mini Mega Crate, which had Stark Industries uh, glass tumbler. Looks like a whiskey glass. And the Magic 8 Ball Batman edition. So, if you imagine what an 8 ball does, Magic 8 ball does. But imagine it's Batman's head. You know, looking all mean and menacing. Except it's the blue of Adam West. Really see. Yet again, we love you. It's nice to be left again. Alright, I gotta build this car. This is a nightmare. Voila, one cardboard car.
Oh wait. Now it's the coolest. Yay. Well, that was speed. One of the more disappointing crates in a while. Mostly because of the hood ornament. Hood ornament. And uh, if you were here at last video, you know that I unboxed my Halo crate, which was super fucking exciting. Um, and I was so hyped from that, that this was quite disappointing. So we got disappointing hood ornament. Pretty cool Battlestar Galactica thing, a bit faster to keep, but I really like it. A Batman key ring, there, key ring there wasn't a Loot Crate exclusive you could probably see in places like HMV or any other fucking shop like that. Um, and then number one thing, number one, t-shirt. I like the t-shirt. That was it. That was the whole crate. That wasn't the whole crate. I forgot about this. Got in a 60 seconds car. Nice, cool. I like the fact that it's... I'm not even going to take out the box, so the fact that it's got articulate doors doesn't matter, but it's cool. It will sit, it will look nice sat next to my uh, Impala. Come back next month and we'll have the other Halo crate. Whatever the next loot crate is, I'll pop it up here for you to see. And whatever videos may come between. I got some streams, some gameplay videos. I plan on doing a few more of them. And other stuff you might be interested in watching, check it out. Links below. If you like this, hit a like, hit subscribe. And uh, from me and Scar, we'll see you next time.